From breaking your glove to losing your pants, this is every MLB star's most embarrassing play. And first up, Bryce Harper makes a play his body will never forget. That is fair. Great play. Ryder Jones to the bag to get Harper, who hits the bag and goes down clutching his leg right below his knee. Slide across the base. And then hit right in there. And hopefully that's just a hyper extension and that's all it is. Damn. It's bad enough to slip, but injuring your knee in the process? That's embarrassing and painful. However, it's better to injure yourself going all out than to not try at all. Sheesh, Mookie Betts just cost his team the game. But not all embarrassing moments are costly. Some moments start out great, yet still find a way to end up embarrassing. And if you don't believe me, just ask Ryan Braun. He went from scoring an inside the park home run to taking a spill on the slip and slide. Wow, that was unfortunate. Even Reggie Miller couldn't believe his eyes. Meanwhile, Freddie Freeman is also prone to blunders, but unlike Ryan Braun, they tend to be mere coincidences. Freeman, one for seven in this series, has a couple of homers in seven career bats against Tefner. He fouled back the first pitch fastball. Well, bad horrors. Oh, there it happened again. This is the third time this season. Keep shattering that glass. Down simply, bro got caught in 4K. But breaking cameras got nothing on David Ortiz. Despite hitting 541 home runs, making 10 all-star appearances, and winning three World Series, Big Poppy is far from perfect. Because when you're as good as Ortiz, you almost forget what it's like to fail. So when you do eventually fail, things can get ugly fast. Ortiz ends up striking out. Second out of the seventh inning, he'll say some stuff on the way by, and he'll show Timmons where that pitch was. Yeah, he's lucky he's stolen the game. A lot of times you show up an umpire like that, and you know, you're ejected from the game immediately, but uh, now and, somebody's gone. Somebody's gone. It's Big Poppy. Wow, this temper tantrum makes Will Smith's Oscar outburst look normal. Although some MLB stars aren't just humiliating themselves, they're also humiliating other players. And in 2021, Shohei Otani did something nobody expected. He let a pitch get away from him. But instead of letting it slide, Mark Kenya took exception to the pitch. That's when chaos ensued. Yeah, he's coming out of the dugout, here come the handles. And he's been hit 10 times. 3 2. Fastball, strike three, throw down. Yes. In time. That is the only One second the benches are clearing, the next second Otani is making the athletics look like fool. Yet he's far from alone. In the 2000s, Derek Jeter and Alex Rodriguez made opponents look foolish on a daily basis. But even now and then, the ball slips through the crack. Third base side. A-Rod and Jeter, and who's going to get it? They drop it. Oh, man. Looks like the 2006 Yankees and the 2023 Yankees have more in common than we thought. Which brings us to Nolan Arenado, who makes Jeter and Rodriguez look like superheroes. See, all players have bad days, but few are as torturing as August 9, 2015. That was the day Arenado made not two, but three game-altering errors. Second base, 12th error on Arenado. To third, and they'll come home with it, and it hit Worth. Unfortunately, the angle of the throw squared up Jason Worth, and it's a tie ball game. 1-1, one, one, that's a changeup. That's grounded through Nolan again. That was a replica of the ball that Desmond hit and went through Nolan. Two routine plays. He is not handled. The last time I saw three errors was during MLB The Show. Speaking of video games, there will always be cheaters. And unfortunately, the MLB is no different. Many pitchers apply sticky stuff to baseballs to gain a competitive advantage. But what happens when they are caught? Check it out. You're gonna check Max here in the middle of an inning? Oh, anything to try to throw somebody off their game and Davey 
rightfully coming out to protect his guy to see what's going on here. Max hey, what, jumps what everything they he to do. Max drops his hat and uh, Carlos Torres is going to get mad at him. This is in the middle of an inning after you struck a guy out. Look at me, my hands, my ball cap, I'm clean. He's like, here, you can have it. You can check for yourself. And I Safe to say, the umps aren't having any of Serge's ante. This reminds me of a fellow pitcher, Justin Verlander. He made a mistake so costly that Kate Upton almost dumped him. Hard to see if there's anything behind that pitch inside. Ibar trying to bunt his way on. Verlander picks it up, throws it wildly. There's a base hit. Justin Verlander doesn't like it, and they're calling that an error. How about that? Home cooking. Yikes, that throw will scare all the baddies away. But then again, what Francisco Lindor did, it scared the baddies away so badly, they got a restraining order. In Detroit, Oakland, and then he went to Japan. And Lindor just took a header coming out of the box. He is easily thrown up on the way. Another look, chipped over his bat, I think. There it was. He oh got caught in between his legs. It's Come on, a stick between your legs? That needs to stay in the bathroom. Anyways, I know what you guys really came for. You came to see our final 10 plays, in which case you won't be disappointed. Espinal again steadies himself and throws a strike. I but wait. I think Vladdy broke his glove. The ball went right through the webbing of the mitt? I think so. I think you're right, because it looked like he caught it. I mean, that would have been a circus. Not going to lie. I still can't decide if that's embarrassing or low-key impressive. On the other hand, I have no doubts about this next play. Because if you look up the definition of the word embarrassing, Juan Soto's face is the first thing that pops up. Soto's off again. Bogarts to right field, and that's a base hit. Bounce into the glove of Fairchild. Soto thought he caught it, and he's going to run into an out. Out at second base is Soto. He thought Fairchild made the catch and ran back to first, only to receive the bad news. Three all-star appearances, a home run derby champ, and 2019 world champion? Yet I still can't get this play out of my head. All that to say, Carlos Gomez found a way to the top. He experienced more bad luck in one minute than most people experience in a whole year. Off the end of the bat, a busted bat. Dozier throws the Mauer two down. Gomez busted his bat. Most of it ended up with some grass as he threw it away going down the line. Breaking your bat and falling down the stairs? You can't make this stuff up. But what you also can't make up is what Kiki Hernandez did. However, this moment has less to do with Hernandez and more to do with an unfortunate umpire. Let's just say he found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Cedric Mullins toward the middle. Kiki Hernandez spikes it into the ground. No chance to get Cedric, who's got a leadoff base hit. In fact, he may have got the second base umpire. Well, that clearly didn't go according to plan. Yet, that's what's so difficult about fielding. Make it out and no one speaks about it. But make a mistake and everyone seems to notice. And if you don't take my word for it, ask Trey Turner. He's made numerous fielding errors throughout his career. But this one's got to be the worst. Ground ball right side. Trey Turner drops it. Either the ball has sticky glue on it or my man is tripping. However, now it's time to take a trip down memory lane. See, everyone seems to remember Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction in the Super Bowl, but very few people forget the time that Steve Lyons flashed all of America. There's the button. That could be trouble as Petrie. Oh, Stevie dives in and beats it. Good effort by Steve Lyons. Not a bad defensive play either by the Tigers. Did you see that? It's <laughs> If Tidy White has ever needed a spokesperson, I think they found their guy. But next up, Prince Fielder finds a way to make even your grandparents look agile. You're getting straight last month. Good for the left. That's going to fall for a base hit. Here comes Fielder around third. And he falls down. The throw comes into home. My goodness, we gotta get this man a stunt double ASAP. But at least Prince Fielder got up on his own accord. See, not all players are as lucky. This includes Jose Altuve. Cause in 2017, Altuve was chasing down a fly ball when suddenly he sees his life flash before his eyes. And that's when he realized he wasn't the only one chasing the fly ball. Ball is in the shallow right center field. It's already crazy if one player gets injured, but two? Not even Mattress Mac saw that coming. Just like Mattress Mac didn't see the final two moments coming. Because at number two, we got the one and only Cody Bellinger. For reference, this is the same player who won the Rookie of the Year, the 2020 World Series, and an MVP award. But that doesn't mean he's perfect, as no one is safe from losing their pants. Well, 
well, that's one way to attract the ladies. This takes us to our top moment. It was a highly anticipated game between arguably baseball's biggest rivals, the Mets and the Yankees. And better yet, this 2009 matchup was star-studded. And with one left out to go, the Mets were poised to win the Battle of New York. The score was 8-7, and the Yankees were in need of a miracle. However, that's when Luis Castillo stepped in and made the worst play of his career. And the 3-1. Popped up. Castillo. Dropped the ball! He dropped the ball! Here comes to Shara. Now, if you're a Mets or Yankees fan, chances are high that you've seen this play. However, you might not have realized that that Luis Castillo was a two-time MLB All-Star. He was one of the game's better players at the time, yet fans will always remember him for this famous blunder. If you enjoyed this video, you better click the video on the screen, because if you don't, then you will be embarrassed next. And worse yet, Ashton Kutcher is going to help me.